guys welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would do a double unboxing for you guys i have my ipsy and boxy charm to share with you guys so let's get started before we begin i am a little under the weather so just bear with me okay let's go so first is the ipsy bag so this month i don't know if it's like a new thing that they're starting but they have an actual pamphlet with all of the products listed on it which is really cool um, I wish I had the price on it as well but unfortunately it doesn't that's okay um, but yeah that's awesome it tells you like about the product and stuff so that's pretty cool this is this month's bag I saw this online and I wasn't really impressed but it's actually cuter than what I expected it to be it kind of reminds me of summer like a linen dress that I would wear in the summer. Uh, it's nice. So the first item in the bag is this Yensa Color and Face Pumpkin Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask. And it's supposed to exfoliate your skin and brighten your skin. You're supposed to put on a thin layer and leave it on for five to 10 minutes and then rub it off. So that's pretty cool. You can't really smell anything because I'm all clogged up, but think it smells good I don't know I wanted to try this out for you guys before I filmed the video but didn't have the chance I was actually out of the country for two weeks so more on that later but I am actually really glad that we got this in this month's bag I really like exfoliating my skin I feel really rejuvenated after I do that and my skin looks great after I do that as well. Especially for the winter time, my skin gets super, super dry. It's already dry and then it gets even more dry during the winter time. It was like all like cracking around my nose and ugh, oh my gosh. So I'm really excited to try this out. And like always, I will let you know my thoughts on this mask in the description box below. The next item in the bag is by Color Club and it is a nail lacquer. And yes, it is the nail lacquer I have on my nails right now. I actually really like Color Club. They have a really amazing color selection. This shade in particular is called Williamsburg. And it is this like deep navy blue shade with a bunch of tiny blue slash purple glitters in it. You can't really tell, but it's actually really, really pretty. And I do have a few colors that are similar to this but not quite the same so yeah i really get excited when i get nail polishes i don't know why i have more than enough nail polishes <sighs> yeah just another nail polish to add to my collection this nail polish i actually put it on last night and i did some dishes and my shampooed my hair and everything like that and there's just like slight slight chipping just on one nail but other than that it looks pretty good. And I did use a base coat and a top coat this time, so. The next item in the bag is this mascara, and it's by Ciate London. It's their Wonder Wand Mascara. And this was actually really good. It made my lashes very long, and it added just a little bit of thickness. Um, not as much thickness as I like, but it's definitely definitely made a difference i had a little difficulty separating my lashes for some reason i'm not sure if it's because of this or because of my lashes but still really good travel size mascara i'm definitely going to be throwing this in my purse the next item in the bag is from the bomb cosmetics and it is this blush in bare minimum it is the perfect shade i absolutely love this shade um it's like this mauvey pink color and i love it it's going to be great to add to my blush collection. It blended out nicely, it added a nice flush of color to my cheeks, so really excited about that. The final item in this month's bag is from Fluid, I believe, and it is in the shade called Elsewhere. This is just a clear lip gloss. The liquid itself is kind of tinted blue, but it's clear, it's just clear. Nothing special about it, but I really, love clear lip glosses especially for the summertime they give your lips like a very juicy plump look to them and i love it and this is the perfect size to put in your purse as well so that's where it's gonna go all right so that's it for the ipsy bag let's move on to boxy charm so this is this month's box and this month's theme is boxy and chill the first item in the box is 
by Briogeo, and it's their Vascaro Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I actually did spray some in my hair after I took a shower. Um, it's too soon to tell. I don't, I don't know. I did actually put another product in my hair as well, so I'm not sure this did anything. But I will, of course, update you guys um, the more I use this. But Briogeo is a really good brand, so I'm really glad we got this in this month's box. The next item in the box is by Tarte Cosmetics, and it is their Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette. These are all very neutral shades, and which is great. Uh, they don't really, they only have one matte shade in here, and that is the shade that I use to set down my... Um, concealer that I used to prime my eyelids. Other than that, they uh, they don't really have like a transition shade or anything. And I don't mind using shimmer shades in the crease or anything like that. But these shades in particular, I couldn't really use in the crease. They're just very very glittery. They're too glittery to use in the crease. But um, they are very beautiful, as you can see. They're quite intense. I used the lighter colors as my face highlight as well so very pretty. If you have texture on your skin I probably would stay away from using too much of this as a highlight but either way we did get a Tarte palette in the box so that's always impressive and I absolutely love this packaging. It's so gorgeous. It looks like mermaid scales. So pretty. This is like one of the eyeshadow palettes that I would display. It's so pretty. The next item in the box is by Billion Dollar Brows, and it is their Universal Brow Pencil, and it is what I used on my brows, of course. I really like that this one has a spoolie on the end. I know that we've gotten like a few brow products without a spoolie, which I just don't understand, but I'm, I'm really appreciative of the fact that they included a spoolie, so that's really nice. And this is a roll-up, so that's awesome. But this was a very creamy product, which is good and bad. I barely applied any pressure and it felt like it was just like melting the stick down, like instantly. I kept having to roll it up like every two swipes. So that was kind of weird, but um, it did apply very like effortlessly. But you have to use a very light hand because I mean, it's just so, it's just too creamy, I feel. It's too creamy. It's weird but I do like how my eyebrows turned out so I would probably just set this down with like a brow powder or something because I feel like in the heat or something you know it would probably melt off <laughs> so yeah this is this is all right this is all right we also got not one but two Tatcha face masks um these are the luminous dewy skin masks and I'm really, really excited to try out Tatcha. I've never tried out Tatcha before, but I've only heard good things. Again, I will update you guys once I use these. I have a whole drawer full of masks that I'm, I've yet to use, but once I do finally use these, I will definitely update you guys in the description box below. And the last item in this month's box is from Ofra Cosmetics, and it is their long-lasting liquid lipstick in Miami Fever. This is the one that Kathleen Lights created with them, and I actually already have the shade in my collection. I really wanted Havana Nights, but what can you do? Either way, um, really excited to get an Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick, as always. <coughs> Excuse me. What was I saying? Oh yeah. <clears throat> These liquid lipsticks are actually one of my favorite formulas. Um, they're matte without being drying, which is so awesome. They are not, however, transfer proof, but I mean, you can't have both, you know? And they amped up the packaging, which uh, my old one it does not look like this at all. I really like the new packaging a lot better, so that's nice. This shade looks a lot different on me than it does on Kathleen. On her, it looks like a very fall, like pumpkin spice orange, but on me, it looks more like a summery orange. You know what I mean? So just keep that in mind because uh, it does look a lot different on her versus me, so. All right, guys, so that's it for my Ipsy and BoxyCharm double unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your subscription boxes this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye.